In the short term, we're in for a big warm up tomorrow. Temperatures were already hot inland today. The heat peaks tomorrow. There's the heat dome edges just a little bit closer to California and the Bay Area. But this is going to be a brief heat wave. Hot enough that tomorrow's the first alert weather day with that heat advisory for inland parts of the East Bay and the North Bay Mountains. But temperatures are going to start backing down already Wednesday and Thursday as that heat dome then retreats a little bit farther off to the east. High temperatures today. Well, they were already hot, 106 degrees in Fairfield, 101 in Livermore, got up to 90 degrees exactly in San Jose. Around the Bay and along the coast, temperatures much more reasonable. Mid-80s in Fremont, low 70s in San Francisco. Those numbers are above average for the middle of August, but at least not ridiculously hot. Just barely above 60 degrees in Pacifica, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 100s still on the map right now. It's 102 in Fairfield. Most inland temperatures are in the 80s and 90s, mostly 70s around the Bay and 60s along the coast this evening. Nice weather near the water, but it's definitely toasty out there for inland parts of the Bay Area. Temperatures are going to drop down to the upper 50s and low 60s by early tomorrow morning. These numbers just a couple of degrees above average for this time of year, but our temperatures just take off. Not going to see a real big push inland of the fog. The marine layer is being compacted by the weight of the atmosphere on top of us. It's also what helps to produce these hot temperatures into the low 90s in the Santa Clara Valley, low to mid 90s, with some spots even getting up close to 100 degrees around Morgan Hill and Gilroy. Right around 70 along the coast. Even along the coast, though, hitting 70 degrees is above of normal for the middle of August. Temperatures inland in the East Bay, the cool spots in the Tri Valley are going to be at 98 degrees in San Ramon and Dublin. Most locations reaching or exceeding 100 degrees. 107 is going to be the hot spot in Fairfield, a degree warmer than today. San Francisco and Oakland will be warmer as well. Mid 70s in the city, upper 70s and low 80s for most of the East Bay, with low to mid 90s for most inland parts of the North Bay. You're not included in the heat advisory. In the lower elevations of the North Bay, but it's definitely going to be hot. Make sure you're staying hydrated and stay in the air conditioning whenever you can. Temperatures farther north also reaching up to or above 100 degrees in inland Mendocino County and Lake County. So forget about the specific numbers, just the overall heat risk. It was in the moderate category today, but watch what happens tomorrow's map. The orange expands, so even more of us in that moderate heat risk, but basically it's the threat of overexerting yourself if you're not careful. It's a high risk for inland parts of the East Bay and the North Bay Mountains by tomorrow afternoon. And the air quality is going to be a concern. Right now, a lot of yellow dots on our map from purple air indicating moderate air quality. But I think we are going to see some spots getting into the unhealthy for sensitive groups category inland in the East Bay and in the Santa Clara Valley by tomorrow afternoon. The seven-day forecast includes a retreat to normal temperatures. That'll feel great by the end of the work week. And the weekend's looking really nice. 60s and 70s around the bay with mostly 80s inland. The heat will probably return as we head farther into next week. We'll just take that as it comes. Temperatures tomorrow, though, are going to be dangerously hot inland in the East Bay and in the North Bay Mountains.